everybody, here is Michael Mark and welcome to my work channel. Today I would like to take you to see her real life live in Cambodia. Today I would like to take you to see Pai Nhen real life. How is her life? She is 65 years old, live in Cambodia with her son. She has seven kids, three sons, and four daughters. She lives in Piem Sela village and Saang district and Kandal province. And after her husband died 18 years ago and left the seven cats behind, let her take care of them. And she couldn't afford to raise the cats, so she sold the home. After she sold her home and then she moved to this village, is to Grasang. Tuol Croissant is like I mentioned before, this village three jobs available like washing dishes and go to the farm to clean all the weeds or grasses that they grow in the farm and go to the water pond and pull the lotus stem. The average that they can earn is 20,000 to 30,000 real. It's about $7.50 is the top earning. The new generation here, like her son, said. He used to work in the factory just recently they opened but after the disease spread all over the world and then the company had been closed and then he lost his job and then he looking for another job is washing the dish. Washing the dish they don't have it every day because he can be able to go to work until they have the wedding. If someone getting married so they have a lot of work because they invited a lot of guests to come to the wedding and then this job they need some help only for part time and then he can have the job to washing the dishes. Only a few weddings in a month. Sometimes he get it, sometimes he didn't get it. If he didn't have washing the dish, he had to find another job in construction. He getting paid for construction about seven dollars a day. But work as the contractors do construction, they didn't have much work either. Some day they had, some day they didn't have it. So he still didn't have the job. He is married, but up to that, he cannot get along with his wife, and they both get divorced, and they have one child. So he had to move back to live with his mother, but his mother's riding the motorcycle. So she fell on uh, the ground and then broke her arm. And she couldn't go to the farm work anymore, so she couldn't do anything. The only way the villager told her if you want to survive, better life, just go to the temple, washing the dish, or clean the yard, the area there, and then after the monk uh, finish the lunch, and you can have the food left over to feed herself and then her sons. 
and she goes to the temples every day to do same thing and bring the food home and eat for herself and give to her son too. Tour Prasang village in Sa'ang district and in Kanda province, they didn't have many jobs available. People earning the income really hard for their living. We do the charity work as a team and we got some donation contributed by the people overseas, so I sent it to Cambodia to promote and protect to go to village up to village to helping them how can we helping them we helping them the best we can but a lot of people getting poor and living in the poverty life in Cambodia I used to got experience through all those life. I know exactly what is going on and how poor they are. And sometimes I lived there, I had no food to eat too. And very poor, even cannot afford one ice cream or any bicycle too. This is the end of her story. Her name, Pai Ning and she is 65 years old. She has seven children and three sons and four daughters. And her husband died 18 years ago. And thank you very much to Paul that she contributed $25 to give to her. It might be can help her a little bit and helping her, her son too. But she wants to sell something, but she has a lot of uh, problem with her health, like her hand is broken, cannot go to pull the grass, clean the farm to earning money anymore, and then she cannot cook like the large scale for sale anymore, and she couldn't do anything for her living, just go to the temple and collect all the food that left over from the monks and bring back home to feed herself and then her sons. After I got to the land of opportunity in America, so I have to sing back and do something that I can help them back. And thank you for your watching. If you would like to help, please share the video. If you want to support, Please subscribe and click notification bell to get new video upload every 6 p.m. at Central Time. Again, thank you for your watching and support and you will like you. We'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye bye now.